Hi, I'm Madison Snyder. I'm the founder of Dior Finer. We are a fine jewelry brand based here in Brooklyn, New York. And we have a collection of jewelry that is made up of signature pieces that I design and we produce in Manhattan's Diamond District. Uh, vintage pieces that we collect from around the world and um, custom work that we design together with our clients. So I started the collection in 2018, launched it in 2019. Um, I was doing some other things at the time in photography production and had always kind of worked in a creative field, but I was really drawn to uh, creating a brand of my own and didn't always know it would be jewelry, but I kind of kept coming back to that. Once I kind of had this team together, I was able to produce our signature collection, which started with just a few pieces and grew to be a much larger collection than it is today. About a year into the business, I started to discover vintage jewelry, which I had always kind of been drawn to personally, but never intended to do as part of Dior Finer's collection. So I brought on a few um, vintage pieces. It was just a really small collection and they sold almost instantly. So I started to bring on more and more. Now it's more than half of our business. I think people really like that we curate vintage in a very particular way. And it's really meant to be worn every day, like be very special and interesting, but also like very wearable, which is what defines the rest of our collection too. So for us, how we define fine jewelry is anything that is made of precious metals or stone. So uh, fine jewelry would be anything that is 10 karat or above, ideally it's in like the 14 or 18 karat uh, metal category. We also work with platinum. Uh, we do a lot of work with diamonds, sapphires, rubies, that sort of thing. Um, and those particular materials are really what mark it apart from um, other categories of jewelry, which could be considered like costume or more fun pieces. The material is the, is the first thing you come to, is like what material is it made of? Um, is it made of gold? If so, what carat of gold weight? Is it solid or is it plated? Um, that will really be like your first indicator and it's the, our first indicator too is we're sourcing pieces for our collection. Um, if it is of a fine material that like meets your needs, then um, the next way that I think is really important with vintage is to see just like its general condition. So like, are there markings? Are there scratches? Are there dents? Um, a test that we often do with vintage pieces that we bring in, especially because we want these pieces to be ones that people can wear every day and like can really live in, is like a movability test. So like if something like can really move and it has like great articulation and it's been like um, worn and movable and hasn't like knotted or tangled, that kind of thing, this piece is a good example of that. Um, this actually has a little piece that like slides up and down and you can just see like it has like really clean movement. So that's one way that like you can really tell something is well made. Um, even something like this, which is a tennis bracelet, um, there does need to be a certain type of like setting to make it so that the diamonds can stay in there. But the fact that you can kind of like do something like this with it and it has that like smooth movement tells you that like each joint like was made well. For me personally, and what I found for a lot of our clients, it's about like sentimentality. So um, taking something that's meaningful to you and finding a way to wear it on your body every day, um, especially because of the materials we work with, like they are meant to be showered in and swam with and sweat in. And that is like a cool way to really like keep something close to your heart. So whether it just is like a piece of jewelry that has meaning to you because you love this particular leaf or you are just really drawn to this shape and pattern or it's something that you've engraved with the name of someone you love or a really significant date i think jewelry allows you to like tell those stories and hold those like meanings um close not only like literally to your heart but also just like to kind of see them and wear them every day